Okay, my story starts about a decade ago. I am in Bill Clinton's boyhood home in Hot Springs, Arkansas, packing up an E-250 van with two of my geology buddies. We're packing it full with about 2,000 pounds of quartz points because we had a one-week trip, and that's what we were collecting. It was like a vacation for dorky geologists. Um, so we're headed home, and I decided to drive the first leg. Um, so we're driving, we're driving. About 10 hours in, it's very late, and I won a beverage, an alcoholic one. And I happened to see a sign on the highway, and it was Memphis, so I figured that would be a good spot to stop. <laughs> Halfway to Philly. So we pull off in Memphis, I know nothing about it, and I wound up um, asking someone on the street corner, he said, try Dubuque Street. So we ended up around midnight at Dubuque Street, we parked, um, found B.B. King's Bar. And we had a few cocktails. And this is where it begins to get interesting. Um, it's around 1 or 2 and my friends want to leave. And I'm like, no, we need a few more of these Sam Smith's Nut Browns. Um, and I'm driving, so... Yeah, so we have a few more beers and then it's around 2. And now it's around 2.30 and I'm getting a little tipsy. I'm feeling good. I'm in, um, I'm in Memphis. I've never been there. But um, I don't see anything but Sam Smith's Nut Browns. And so we have to leave. We eventually make the decision to leave. And just as we're getting out and about to pay the tab, which was at that point $50, guess who walks in the door? Rod Stewart. Yeah, and they lock the door, and Rod Stewart is going to do two sets. So we have to stay for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we stay, and uh, the, the tab is going to the moon. I'm hammered, and I'm driving to Philly at some point. Right, and around 5 a.m. there are Polaroids and autographs, and it's great. Yeah, and then we get the tab, and it's 150 fucking dollars. Yeah, and I think it's a good idea for me to drive, because I paid the tab. Right, um, but I had this great idea, because I did a lot of road trips, so I said, I'm just going to stop at the first truck stop, get a bunch of these pseudo meth pills called mini thins, and I'll make it to Philly. It'll be cool. Right, because I've done this before. I made it to South Dakota once, you, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do it. So that was my uh, great decision there, and uh, I did. I got five packs of them, and I downed them, and I could feel my hair growing. All right, and I'm almost in Philly, but I'm really not. I haven't even made it out of Tennessee. Right, I haven't, and I woke up, and everything was green, and I'm in this valley, and the truck is spinning. It's like, and I'm like, ah! And I turn, and my friend wakes up next to me. He's like, ah! And now we're looking out the window, and I don't even know where the fuck we are. Because we're not on a road. We're in this green valley. It turns out that the highway is divided, and we, I fell asleep, and I'm down there, and we're spinning around, and we're fucked. We're in a rental van with a ton of quartz points, and hammered, and it's like the sun's coming up. I don't know where the fuck we are. I really don't. I don't know how far. I don't even remember leaving BB King's, to be quite honest. Um, so it, what ensues is the guy in the back wakes up, the third guy, Andy, and somehow we end up getting on a fist fight on the, on the highway, the divided highway. We're in a fist fight. Um, and the state police come and it's a nightmare, but somehow, I don't remember much of this, there are tow trucks pulling the van up, they are, and uh, they pulled the van up, and the cop's like, what's in the van? Because it was so heavy, the tow truck guy didn't know what the fuck he was pulling up, he said, just a van. And we said, oh, it's filled with quartz points. <laughs> and he thought we were, like, he didn't understand this real, what the fuck was going on. Yeah, we're going to Philly, we came from Bill Clinton's home, and we have a bunch of quartz points. <laughs> So, yeah, that's, this is the story, and the way it ends is pretty simple. Um, he knew we were shit-faced, and instead of giving us a DUI, he asked us if he could exchange some quartz points um, for, and he let my friend drive. He gave us all breathalyzers, one of us was below the legal limit, and he wanted his pick of the quartz points because his wife was, loved quartz points. So really, because he looked in the van, and we opened up the back, and he... We said, take as much fucking quartz as you want. <laughs> yeah, because we were, and we made it back to Philly, safe and sound, and that's my after-hours story. Oh.